Well, most mothers are able to breastfeed their infants when they head home from the hospital. But for those who can't, the hospital and those families rely on breast milk donations. Here in Boise, St. Luke's has a milk bank depot where women can donate their milk and give struggling newborns a healthy start to life. Our Shira Matsuzawa is here now with how that process can help save lives one drop of milk at a time. Shira? And every little bit counts and to put, to put this into perspective, one ounce of milk can feed a micro preemie for an entire day, which can literally save a baby's life. And that's why it's so important for hospitals like St. Luke's to be a place where women can donate their breast milk. Christina Payton and Ricky Steele are parents to newborn twin girls, Kaya and McKenna. But they've spent the last two weeks here at St. Luke's neonatal intensive care unit also known as the NICU. They were born at 34 weeks and three days. For most parents, this process is hard enough, but thanks to breast milk donors, Christina and Ricky are able to focus on their daughter's health rather than how much milk they need in order to do so. So I pump and I bring in what I can and then anything that I, you know, any amount that I don't make, um, the nurses here just take care of it and they they bring in the milk for the girls, make sure they have everything they need. At St. Luke's, its Milk Bank Depot provides a midpoint between the person donating milk and the Mountain West Mother's Milk Bank. It can be many, many reasons why a mother's in a position to donate milk, but it's life-saving to the little ones that are here. Breast milk is the standard of care for feeding infants at any age and stage. And that milk is critical to helping babies born with health problems. Preterm infants benefit more so um, because their immune system is underdeveloped, their GI tract is underdeveloped. So when we feed them breast milk, uh, they're obtaining uh, bioactive nutrients such as enzymes that help with digestion. Once it gets to the milk bank, the milk is tested. It's then pasteurized, recultured, and then uh, placed in sterile bottles, frozen, and then shipped out to us. Something Christina and Ricky are grateful for. Nothing matters to anybody more than their kids. So just uh, the fact that there's people out there willing to help in such a selfless way. I mean, making sure our girls get the best that they need, the nutrients, and um, you know, not only is it best for them, it's a lot of stress off mama as well and us. And so it's just, uh, it's really amazing. Baby Kaya is now home and we're told McKenna will be able to join her sister and parents home soon, soon too, hopefully within a, another week or so. But anyone interested in learning more about this donation process can head on over to our website at ktv.com. Gretchen. All right. Thanks for that story, Shira. <laughs>